Hi guys, TJ. My name is Oliver Alice. We are in class of computer education. So today guys, I will teach you how to use your computer, how to turn on your computer, how to use the application on your computer. So before that guys, I will explain to you what is computer is. Computer literacy is very basic part of the computer and the basic program of the computer. Now, in the word PC, what is the basic part of the computer? We have hardware and software. What are the basic applications or the software? We have operating system, we have Windows, we have uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft so all of that guys, I will teach you how to use that one, how to utilize that one. So you need to listen, you can participate on this class. So in a computer literacy guys, we have basic terminology. We have a computer, we call it computer, and in computer we have four parts, two parts of the computer called the hardware and software. Computer and electronic device for storing and processing data according to structure. So, mean guys, is devices that use for storing and processing, processing data. After processing data, there will be an output. So, output it is an information. So, what is the information? All the printed materials that you see for the that is the information came from a computer or a device. But it depends on the structure. So what is an instruction? Instruction is the use or command of a user. So without the instruction guys, the computer is useless. Kasi nga, hindi yan lumagana ng sarili. Sarili lang. Sarili ng computer, wala nang go-operate. Yan, dumagana guys. Dumagana si computer, nakadepende sa instruction ng user. At sino yung user? Sari yung user guys. So we're talking hardware. Hardware is the physical component of a computer. It is again guys, from the word physical. It is a tangible part of a computer. It is again. Ito yung nakahawakan. Nakahawakan mo yung isang bagay, siguro, so lahat siguro na nakahawakan. Pwede natin lipat, tanggalin, gamit ang kanilin. It is a tangible part niya. So, unlike sa software, kasi software naman, it's a non-physical. Ibig sabihin, it is a non-tangible. Ibig sabihin, hindi nyo yan makakahawag ang gamit ay naman. But, it is an important part of a computer because of its formation handling part of the computer. Ibig sabihin, siya yung mahawag ang formation ng computer. So, without the software, wala kang makikita yung information. So, ano yung nangyayari kay computer? Ano yung nangyayari sa loob ng system natin? Kasi nga, wala kang software. So, pag may software ka, alam mo kung ano yung nangyayari sa loob niya. Alam mo kung gumagana or hindi. So, there's the part of hardware. So, we have CPU, Monitor, mouse, and keyboard. So, CPU is the brain of the computer. Yes, it's an important part of the computer because that is the brain of the computer. A small chip. Asset, malit pala si CPU. Yes, malit yan. So, anong tawag doon sa malaki? Okay, guys, it's not a CPU. So, wait. May papasita. So, sa pagkakaalam natin, o pagkakaalam nyo, yan yung tinatawag na CPU. Tama ako. So guys, hindi yan CPU. Ang tawag yan guys, it is a system unit, a set of computer hardware. Ibig sabihin, kompleto na yan siya guys, package na yan. Lahat na sa loob. 
நேருணையன் பூங்கள் நேருணையன் ஆவுல் சுப்தாய் நேருணையன் ராம் மேருணையன் சிபியு நேருணையன் ஆர்டி சோழஹாசலோக்கியன் ஆனா Like what I said before, it is a small kid. It is a bit small kid. It is a small kid. It is a 2 to 3 inches. It is a small kid. It is a small kid. It is a small kid. So, that is the same thing. So, that is the same thing. It is a small kid. It is a small kid. Inside of the system. And then, So, nakikita niyo malaki, yan yung tinatawag na system unit. At yung CPU na sa loob ng system unit. Monitor. A screen used to display what's going on. Ibig sabihin ko, yung monitor, yan, yan nakikita kung ano yung nangyayari sa loob ng system unit. Without this, guys, you can see what's going on inside of your system unit or your system unit. Mouse, a device that can be used to move around the computer or screen. Computer screen. So, we need to be engaged. Ito yung nakita natin na umiigot screen na ito. Ito siya guys. Ayan. We need to be engaged. Si mouse yan. No. Yun lang ba yung ginagawa ng mouse? No. Kasi nga si mouse ginagamit nyo siya. To select or to open the program. Or to select the program. the file and etc. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng pag-ili o pag-select ang gusto mo yung open ang gumagawa niyan kay mouse. So, yun yung trabaho ni mouse. Sinu-select, sinubusan, dapat magsa. Okay? Then, another one. We have big trackpad. A rectangular, rectangular device that acts like the mouse. Usually, it's in a laptop. So, ito naman si trackpad, then yung use lang ni mouse ng trabaho. Sinubusan, lahat ng dapat busan, umiipot sa monitor mo. Pero, it's a rectangular device na nakikita lang ito sa laptop. Keyboard, a device used to input text. Simple meaning, napakadaling intindihin at tandaan kung ano si keyboard. Ibig sabihin, pag input text, alam mo na yan, keyboard nyo. Ibig sabihin, ginagamit keyboard sa type at sa keyboard. So, ito na si software. Software, there are two types of software. We have operating system, desktop, and program or application. Operating system, the underlying software that hangs all of the computer, hardware, and software. Ibig sabihin din guys, itong si operating system, siya yung nagpapagana o nagpapatakbo ng lahat ng parts ni hardware, o computer hardware, pati yung si software. Ibig sabihin, without this guys, hindi tumatakbo si hardware at saka si software. Kasi nga, si operating system, siya yung nagpapalabas ng program. So, after that, makikita mo, pag lumabas na yung program ng iyong computer, makikita mo kung gumagana ang iyong RAM, gumagana ang iyong CPU, gumagana ang iyong hard disk drive. So, after that, saka mo i-install yung tinatawag natin na application. So, meron tayong type of operating system. We have the Windows, Vista, the old one, and the XP, and the new version, the Windows 7, the Windows 8, and the new generation, Windows 10. So, ano yung Mac OS sir? Mac OS naman is ginagamit for Apple. Apple user only, or Apple device. 
you have Apple laptop, you have Apple desktop or a set of So desktop. What is desktop? Essentially the computer. You be suggest the desktop can you use computer and your home use. Again, can you home use guys? Can you know not keep an attack? When first screen you see once you lag the computer. You be saying, can you not keep an attack for not lagging at the computer? So can I think you can use application? Once you lag in, then I get at the screen more, can you see that one? Desktop. Program or application. A piece of software designed to accomplish a specific task. You be saying, guys, uh, the application daw or a piece of software na tapos na para lang sa isang bagay. So, ano yung specific task niya? Halimbawa na lang ito, napakadali kong hindi, si Microsoft Word. What are the specific tasks of Microsoft Word? For what? For decoding. For typing. So, yun lang yun. For typing, encoding, printing. After that, we have another one of, another application software. Meron yung specific task. We have the Microsoft Excel. Ano ba yung specific task ng Microsoft Excel? Okay, for formulation. Formulation and calculation. Pwede ba yung gawin kay Microsoft Word? Pwede. Pero, not totally. Kasi nga, na kay Microsoft Excel lang yun. We have another third one. We have Microsoft PowerPoint. Ano ba yung specific task ng Microsoft PowerPoint? To presentation. Pwede ba yun kay Microsoft Excel? No. Kasi nga, ang para lang kay Microsoft Excel is what? To formulate it and calculation. So, yun yung tinatawag ng specific task. So, ibig sabihin, meron silang kanya-kanyang kakayahan lamang na hindi pwedeng pasukin ng isa. Pero ngayon guys, meron tayong mga multi-application na pwede mo nang gawin doon sa iba kung kaya mo iba. So, parang tao lang yun yan. Meron mga tao talaga na multiple task. Kaya yung gawin lahat. So, next thing ko na. What are the applications? We have Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, we have Internet Explorer. Now, we're going to turn it on our computer. So, turn the computer on. Press the power button. What? What is the image of the power button? Ito siya guys. Yung ganyan. Para matalik ka na may natapuso. So, kayo nang wala mo isip. Ano yung isip niya? So, a desktop may also have a power button on the monitor. Ibig sabihin, ang desktop daw, meron yun siyang power button sa monitor. So, ibig sabihin, after mo ma-switch on the system unit, hanapin mo naman yung switch on sa monitor. Kasi nga, meron yun siyang switch on. So, wait until you see the lag is Ibig sabihin guys, ah, hintayin natin at magkita natin yung login screen. Kung saan papalagin ka ni computer. So, desktop. So, ito na yung tinatawag natin na desktop guys. After you log in, you should go to desktop. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na desktop guys. Yan. So, wala pa yung application. Yung dalawa pa lang yan. So, yan. Yan yung tinatawag natin na desktop. So, tandaan kung ano to. Baka mamaya, tanong ko yan sa inyo. Wala kayong masagot. The two picture highlighted in yellow are icon. Ibig sabihin, eto na yung kita na yun sa naka-yellow. Yan yung tinatawag natin na icon. Ibig sabihin, lahat nito, yung mga yan, mga icons. Yung mga yan, nasa as long as, sa shortcut yan, tinatawag yan ng icon. This can be used to open, sing, or start the program. So, pwede mo ito siya, i-click, 
to start the program or to open. Okay. So once you click that one, pwede nyo na yung open. So paano siya i-open? Gamitin mo. Okay. Kasagi lang natin kay mouse. Hindi pala nag-publish. Nandito na si mouse. Mouse. Left button. Click to start the program or select option. Ibig sabihin nyo guys. Nakikita nyo to. Si mouse to. Ibig sabihin nyo. Ito yung left button. Tama. Once you click this one, ibig sabihin, pwede ko nyo i-open or i-start the program or i-select yung option. So, we have the other one here is the left. At the right button. Open up a menu different things. You can do, ibig sabihin, once you click this one, pwede mo nyo i-open yung menu. Pwede ko nyo refresh or i-check. Or copy. Okay. So, mag-copy. Meron nyo yan. Meron cut. Or delete. This become more important as you become more comfortable. So, ibig sabihin, pag important na ito sa'yo, masyado ka ng comfort. Kasi nga, pag, pag alam mo na talaga paano mo sabihin sa bago, magiging comfortable ka. Mouse down. Middle button. Next to scroll. Move the picture on the monitor. Up and down. Ibig sabihin guys. Ito to. Ito na nasa gitna. Nakita nyo yung nasa gitna. So, hindi nyo nakita. Ayan o. Nasa gitna guys. Ayan. Ang tawag dyan is middle button. So ginagamit ko siya. To scroll up. And scroll down. This may be missing. So, pwedeng wala. On laptop, this is usually on the right side of the trackpad. Ibig sabihin, nasa right side siya sa trackpad. Dati. So, ngayon, wala na yan. Tinanggal na rin. So, basic movement. Ito yung basic movement to mouse. Move the mouse to move. Okay? Move the mouse to move the cursor on the monitor. Ibig sabihin, pag pinalaw mo to, ayan, galawin mo yung mouse, galawin mo daw si mouse para gumalaw din siya sa monitor. So, direction, mouse cursor, we have right, right siya, we have left, and we have forward, and backward. Ganyan lang yun eh. So, left, Right, left, right, up and down, up and down. So, ganun lang. Then, kasama mo, select. So, sa mga may alam na about computer, medyo basic to it. Kaya nga, tinawag na computer literacy. Kasi nga, so, sinuturo sa inyo kung ano yung basic na pagkamit ng computer. So, start mo na. Start me now an application that can be used to start other programs. It is again, once you click that one guys, you see the other program. So, para makita mo yung other program, para, para mapagana mo yung other program, kailangan mo click start me. Press the left mouse button, press the left mouse button, and let's start. Stated otherwise. Click the window button at the bottom left corner of the monitor to open the start menu. If it's the index, you want to open the start menu, click the window button at the bottom of left corner of your monitor. If it's the index, it's the left button. It's the left button. It's the left button. It's the left button. You can see this logo. That's it ang four colors na yan and click that one para start ng menu and dyan mo rin makikita yung sinasawag natin press start, shut down, and click and yung ibang program nandyan na rin so first program 
Ito yung kaunawa ng program guys. This program, even you format your computer, this will be automatically installed. Once you install your OS. So, hindi nyo na dapat pag-aralan yung formatting. Basta, ang format yung computer nyo, automatically, maka-install na yan. Kahit hindi nyo yan yung install, na-install na rin yan. Kasama ng operating system nyo. Inside, inside the start menu, type the notepad, edit sa din, once you click the start menu, this is this one. And ito yung start menu, click that one, at makikita nyo itong search box, or search anything. Then after that, type mo sa notepad, and now, it will appear on your screen, this is notepad. So, andito na daw si notepad. Once you type the notepad, it will be appear the notepad. Ayan. So after that, click it. Then, ayun na. Ma-open mo na yan. The notepad. Okay. So we have the minimize, maximize, and end. Or close. In the top right corner of the window, you will see three buttons. You will see the Nasa tag, nasa taas daw ng window, meron ang may kita 3 buttons. From left to right. Ibig sabi, from left to right, makita mo si minimize, nasa center si maximize, at nasa ka na pag pinakadulo at the right si exit. Minimize. What is minimize? The program of the screen, but don't stop it to click the minimize button to minimize the program. Ibig sabihin guys, once you click the moon, minimize guys, it cannot be stopped. Ibig sabihin, once you click that one, na close mo lang siya, na minimize mo lang siya, pero hindi mo siya nakatay. Did you understand that? Na paliit mo lang siya, pero hindi mo siya nakatay. Taskbar, a bar at the bottom of the screen used for controlling program. Ito naman si taskbar guys. Nasa bottom yan siya. Pero sa mga ibang user, nililipad yan at the top. Depend, pero ang pinaka-common yan, nasa bottom talaga yan. So, sa bottom yan siya guys, para controlling lang yung program. So, ibig sabihin, nasa baba lang siya, no control yung program nakikita mo dyan guys kung ano yung program yung open at kung ano yung program na close so if necessarily you want to open your program again go to the bar and click click the program to restore ok paano ba ni pinabalik yung program and minimize or unmaximize ibig sabihin once the program is minimized Ibawa, nag-minimize ko sa program. Nasa kay taskbar. So, once you click that one, na-unminimize na siya. O na-unmaximize na siya. So, look at this guys. Ito yung kinatawag natin na taskbar. Yung nandito. Okay, so ito yung program, ito yung notepad. Pag na-click mo yung minimize guys, automatically, close yan, open na dito. So, hindi mo makikita ito yung notepad. So, ang tawag doon is minimize. So, you want to maximize that one, click the notepad at the touch bar. Click here, yan, it will be up here at the desktop. Maximize. Make a program to take up the entire screen. Click on the maximize. Maximize button to maximize a program. To restore a program, click on the maximize button again. It will be there. Once you click the maximize button, automatically move full screen yan. Kaya nga, sabi niya dito, make a program take up the entire screen. 
Jadi cobain once you want to full screen your program, you need to click di maximize. Dan kalau bawa na minimize mo yung uh, program mo, you need to click di maximize button and with it will draw restore again. Jadi cobain mabalik ya full screen yung exit ito yung pinakamatindi to exit end a program and remove its window ibig sabihin guys once you click the exit automatically mawawala at matatakot so, pag nag exit ka na wala na yan guys mawawala at matatakot you cannot un exit a program ibig sabihin guys once you exit a program hindi mo na siya pwede and then, once you exit the program, wala na. Hindi mo na yan ma-unexit pa ulit. Unlike pag na-minimize mo siya guys, pwede mo siya un-minimize. So, yun. Once na na-exit na yan, automatically, umatapa na. So, you want to un-exit your program, i-open mo. Pero wala na. Pag hindi mo na-save, automatically hindi na yung marit so, so ngayon guys yan hanggang dito na lang muna tayo sa topic na to so magre-recap ako ng konti lang magre-recap tayo so what is the internet therapy Literacy is study of the basic of computer. Basic terminology, computer, hardware, the software. Hardware, there are types of hardware. We have the CPU, monitor, mouse, and the keyboard. We have the software. We have the operating system, desktop program, and application. So turning on the computer, just click this logo on your laptop or desktop or PC so this we call it what desktop and mouse we have two button in mouse we have the left and the right button so we have the third one button we call it middle so basic movement up and down, right, left, the start menu, to select other program, you need to select that uh, program, the start menu, the first program, uh, take note this one, the first program is not bad, minimize, maximize, and end. So that's our for now class. Prepare for your reaction and for the quizzes. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye.